the given problem is from gate 2021 mechanical engineering in set 2 the question says consider an n into n matrix a and a non zero n into 1 vector p their product ap is equal to alpha square p where alpha belongs to all real numbers and alpha is not equal to minus 1 0 and 1 based on the given information the eigen value of a square is so we need to find the eigen value of a square among these four options now the matrix given to us is ap is equal to alpha square p where a is n cross n matrix and p is a vector n cross 1 and we need to find the eigen value of a square now from the definition of eigenvalue and eigenvector we have ax is equal to lambda x where x is eigenvector and lambda is eigenvalue let the given equation be equation number one and this equation be equation number two now comparing these two equations we can write that x is equal to p and lambda is equal to alpha square that means p is the eigenvector and alpha square is the eigenvalue of a now from the property of eigenvalue and eigenvector we know if lambda 1 lambda 2 and so on are the eigenvalues of a matrix a then a to the power of m has the eigenvalues lambda 1 to the power m lambda 2 to the power of m and so on now using this property of eigenvalue and eigenvector we can say that if matrix A has eigenvalue alpha square then A square will have eigenvalue alpha square to whole square that will be equal to alpha to the power of 4. For this problem the eigenvalue of A square will be alpha to the power of 4. So option D is our correct option. Now let's see a short proof of this property as already established let lambda i be the eigenvalue of matrix a whose corresponding eigenvector is x i then we can write a x i is equal to lambda i into x i let it be equation number three now from definition we can uh, write now from definition we can write a x i is equal to lambda i x i let's multiply a both sides so we'll get a square x i will be equal to a into lambda i into x i now lambda i is a constant so we can take it outside and this equation can be written as lambda i a into x i now substituting the value of a x i is equal to lambda i x i from equation number three we will get lambda i into lambda i into x i now this we can write lambda i square into x i so a square x i so you see here a square has an eigenvalue of lambda square similarly we can say the eigenvalue of a to the power of m will be equal to lambda to the power of m and so this proof of this property if lambda i is the eigenvalue of a matrix a a square matrix a then a to the power of m will have the eigenvalues lambda to the power of m now for more information on eigenvalues and eigenvector you can refer to the nptl course of engineering mathematics one by dr jitendra kumar of iit kharagpur Thank you.